Bill, for the record, have you ever heard of a little game called Fortnite by any chance? You know, this small oh, indie game that no one's heard of and certainly no one's ever played. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Apparently, and I'm just hearing about this now, Fortnite is holding a Martin Luther King experience. Now, Fortnite has definitely done a lot of interesting events, shall we say, in the past. They've done a lot of concerts, they've done a lot of screenings of different things, but the one thing I don't think any of us were really expecting was Martin Luther King himself to appear in Fortnite in virtual form. What the hell? <laughs> when uh, oh Martin God. Luther King said, I have a dream, do you think he meant I'm going to have a dream and I'll, where I wake up in Fortnite as a you know mm -hmm. cosmetic skin that you can buy? Why? Why? Of all people. Of all people. To be fair, I'm not entirely sure if they made Martin Luther King a skin, because that would just seem inherently racist <laughs> and problematic. No, no, listen, <laughs> Let's be perfectly listen, honest. Listen, that no, would create no, a whole bunch saw, of problems saw, saw, where you're buying buying people based on skin. <laughs> This is the kind of problem we, we meant to avoid and, like, abolish. Uh, then again, you can buy Black Panther. So, I mean, I, I really don't know where the uh, where the line is drawn. But, yeah, we're going to be celebrating Martin Luther King in-game in Fortnite via a 17-minute long I Have a Dream speech, you know. Well, the speech ex itself has existed, but to see it in Fortnite, I, I can't even think properly. W what do you guys have to say? Take this over. <laughs> Just imagine... Rosa Parks jumping out of the battle bus. <laughs> no, imagine Rosa Pusk. Uh, Ro <laughs> <laughs> for the for the record, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, can you imagine Rosa, Rosa Parks, Parks getting run over by the battle bus as she goes by? <laughs> oh. Terrible! <laughs> God, she doesn't get on the bus. She becomes one with the bus. Oh God! Uh, having Martin Luther King Jr. as a uh... As a Fortnite skin, is a kind of a fucking spit in the face. Because wasn't the guy non-violent? Yes, and, well, kind of like Batman and Superman, I suppose, when you think what? about it. Batman no. says, oh, I won't use guns. Superman says, I won't use guns. And now both of them are gunning down 10-year-old children in, in Fortnite. So I suppose Martin Luther King is up next. I condemn not violence, so let me let me fi fix my problem with a fucking AK-47. <laughs> Open up wide, wide child. This AK-47 is going down your throat and out your asshole. Jesus. <laughs> I have a dream where all of my body counts will be beyond imagining. I imagine a future imagine. Where, where, where children of all kinds, of all colors, are dead upon the floor in front of me. <laughs> imagine if you, like, if Martin Luther King's spear just, like, teleports into the skin. He's like, what the fuck is this place? <laughs> I think Martin Luther King would be horrified by this. This seems to me a perfect example of things done with the best of intentions, but not always with the right thought process. Mm. I get As what they were trying easy. to do to celebrate yeah. his legacy, but I'm pretty sure Martin Luther King's legacy can and should exist outside of Fortnite. <laughs> and only out of Fortnite. Oh Isaiah, you God. haven't said much on this point. No, I have not. Say something. <laughs> I'm What's your thoughts on uh, Martin Luther King being in. bastardized? Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be a really short video, guys. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, this is not the last of Fortnite's uh, blunders this past week. I'm not sure if oh, you guys, really? guys have heard about this other niche game that no one has ever heard of on Twitch or YouTube by the name of Among Us. Oh god. Oh, no. Well, they're adding Martin Luther King to that game, too? N not yet, at least. <laughs> oh no! They did add Barack Obama the other day, so I mean, what? Why? Why? Really? <laughs> no, I, I, for once I'm kidding. Given how stupid our last article was, don't expect me not to have a bit of fun with that. <laughs> the fact that that's even a feasible possibility kind of alarms me. Apparently, Fortnite's gotten into a bit of trouble recently because they decided to copy paste Among Us into Fortnite via their new Fortnite Imposters game mode. A game mode that involves five players and one mysterious murderous player that hunts them all down while the other five are doing tasks that uh, involve keeping a facility up and running while the assassin assassinates them all one by one. And in order to solve, uh, figure out who the assassin is, people hold the board meetings to decide who gets ejected from the ship. Now, I'm, I'm sure you can't think of any game that could possibly remind you of that, aside from Fortnite, of course. No, it's totally original. <laughs> I know, they totally original idea. Too? Yes, I mean, no. it's not. It's not like it's not a one for one. Yeah, it's not a one for one ripoff, but it is 
very, very close. And here's the thing. Fortnite didn't even contact the Among Us developers to, you know, cooperate as part of this uh, development being made. They didn't even ask them for their input and didn't even offer uh, Among Us the chance to have their characters featured as, you know, premium skins in Fortnite. Not even a shout out on Twitter. Kind of a spit in the face because everyone else is ripped off of Fortnite, but they can't rip off people. I know, Fortnite do it, doesn't like it can't. when other people rip off them, but they like ripping off everyone else because that's how uh, capitalism works. The big guys can rip off the little guys, but the little guys dare not rip off the big guys. Rules for me, not for thee. Yeah. Kind of a bummer, because I kind of never really got into the whole Among Us craze, but I definitely respect hardworking it's indie devs that are just trying to, you know, make, make a good game and keep people happy and, you know, make a bit of a profit while they're doing so. Certainly nowhere near the same amount of profit as, say, Fortnite pulls in on a, on a daily basis. It's nothing to write home about. Yeah. Neither is Fortnite, let's be honest. Oh god, that is a direct copy-paste, basically. Yeah. Oh, for- oh yeah, it is- oh shit. I didn't even take a look at the map, that's- that's new to me, wow. I'll put it up on screen so people can see what we're talking about, but holy hell. Naughty, naughty. Next thing you know, they have a new skin for, like, the imposter skin. Like, oh definitely, but they're not gonna call it the imposter skin, they're gonna talk it- they're gonna call it, like, the ninja skin. And no, I'm not talking about the YouTuber. <laughs> No, the, it's uh, Spaceman. It's the Spaceman little... skin. There we go. Spaceman skin. Because they, they, they are like little spacemen. I mean, they, they, they kind of are. That's basically what they, they are. Their stuff. <laughs>